Okay, everyone. I am going to only take a few minutes of your time because you have heard everything that I was going to say. So it's always good to be last because you can be short. But I do want to give this message to you and say thank yous to several uh, people that were involved. First, congratulations to our Young Adult Committee. Second, to the DJ, uh, ooh, 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 the young man that did all the introductions, the master of ceremony, Daryl. Thank you to my leadership, Mrs. Brenda Murphy, who is the state conference president. Um, I have her on the phone all the time getting advice and so I can bring it out to where I need to take the advice. Mr. Jim Felder, thank you much. Sheriff Lott is somebody else that I have on the telephone at all times. <laughs> thank you, Sheriff. Antoine, if you had said no, I would have run you all the way back to where? Yes, sir, believe that. I appreciate you, appreciate you always. Shakira, no word can say what it means to me, the way that you step up and step out and your leadership. And I want you to continue that for the rest of your life. This young lady has no fear, and I must say that. None. And I appreciate that. Mr. Perry Bradley, you have been in my ear. I, I think I'm a little tired of it right now, though, Mr. Bradley. But uh, the advice that you extend as well, and so many other of you, to make a divine. Councilwoman Divine has been in my life, all of her life, from her parents to her children. And you can't say thank you enough for the support of those that are around you and continue to be around you. I'm saying all of this, people, so that you can say thank you to those that matter to you. I also want to say to you, in reference to this voting, Leave out this sentence that I hear quite often, and I hear it from young people. My vote doesn't matter. This is what I want you to think about. You had family, grandparents, mothers and fathers, uncles and, aunt, um, uncles and aunts, and you will have children. Your vote today your vote, whenever you decide to vote, will matter just because of the relationships that you have in your life. And it's left up to you to make it better for those that are going to come behind you. So when you hear that sentence from any of your colleagues or friends, straighten them out. No, that's not a good sentence. And tell them what I just told you. I vote because it's going to make it better. I vote because of the health situations and issues that we have. I vote for the school districts that we need to straighten up or keep clear. I vote because we are done dying. I vote because I can. It is my privilege. I vote because it is my right. And that's the message that you should give out. And I'm going to encourage you now. Get out. When you leave here, if it's not too late, go on down to 2020 Hampton Street. There are lines down there. There is food down there as well. So that you can stand in and cast your ballot. All the students. Allen University, I see here. Benedict College, I see here. Take this message back. March to the polls. Create some type of activity so that your peers, your peers, not mine, if you got to take them by the hand, like I did some of you that I'm looking at now, take them by the hand and say, I did it, you can too. Go online. If you don't know who to vote for, pull up your name. 
if you're a South Carolina voter, they will give you a sample ballot. So when you go to vote, you would have already chosen who you want to vote for. Again, I can't express it more. The V in vote is for victory. The only way we can have it is if you go out and vote. I love you all like I usually say, if nobody told you today, believe that I love you and so does God.